previously unseen video and pictures of his close encounter with the ocean giant known as Deep Blue. Well, Deep Blue is a very large, big female shark and she has a ground around Guadalupe, Mexico. She was very calm, not at all nervous. And what I do love diving with sharks is the massive force of these animals in combination with elegance. It's never hectic, it's quiet, it's reassuring, and it's just very beautiful to be with them. Currently, sharks are being killed at a rate that averages out to two to three sharks every second. That's 70 to 100 million sharks being killed every year, and it's just for their fins. So they're a targeted fishery for the demand for shark fin soup, the delicacy in Asia. It's traditionally served as a status symbol. They utilize less than 5% of the shark when they're killing them only for the shark fin soup. At the current rate of decline, many shark species will be extinct within our lifetime. Without sharks, it's like being without an immune system. Fisheries collapse, diseases spread, and you have major degradation of reefs and local ecosystems for yourself. It's so amazing the first time a shark swims by and locks eyes with you, you really realize how intelligent they are. And that actually helps support local economies, and it shows the value of a live shark versus a fin shark. Shark ecotourism is far more sustainable than killing a shark just for its fins. I hope within the next five years we're able to pass more laws to protect sharks against spinning and gain greater protection for the ocean in general. You can support this by signing a petition, sharing your voice in social media, and being a conscious consumer. We need sharks for healthy oceans. We need sharks for a healthy planet. Blue sharks are the main species of shark being sold in Hong Kong restaurants, and they're in big trouble. In recent decades, blue shark populations have seen massive and unsustainable declines in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. So in 2005, the species was listed on the IUCN's red list as near threatened. But that was 13 years ago. The situation now is far worse. Since 2005, Declines in global blue shark populations have accelerated, putting them on a path to becoming the next endangered species of shark. That's why the world came together to sound the alarm in October 2017 by listing blue sharks on the United Nations Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals. Governments around the world recognized that with no catch limits set for blue sharks, this species was in dire need of protection. Yet, blue sharks are not currently protected by the CITES Treaty, and regional fisheries have not developed any management measures to help them. Hong Kong imported just under 5,000 tons of shark fin in 2017, likely much of it frozen blue shark fins from Spain. Spain is the world's third largest shark catching nation, with an international free-for-all on catching blue sharks, countries can fish as many as they'd like, leading to out-of-control overfishing in the Atlantic Ocean by the Spanish fishing fleet. Spain's fishermen are pretending to catch swordfish, but in reality, engaging in a far more lucrative business, targeting blue sharks, whose fins they can send to Hong Kong for a huge profit. It's obvious that the Hong Kong shark fin trade is a clear and present danger to blue sharks. Today, people know that the global shark fin trade is wreaking havoc on the planet's marine environment. That's why governments, NGOs, and industry are coming together to fix the problem. 